Well, since this is a prophetic conference, I thought it might be a good idea to start with a prophetic word, if that's okay. Um, you know, the, one good way to, to, to know you're going to finish well is to start with your ending. So <laughs> I thought, I had this prophetic word that the Lord gave me, and I thought, I'll end with this. And the Lord said, no, why don't you start with that? At least you'll be guaranteed you start pretty good, and we'll see what the rest goes. So <laughs> I'm like, okay, that's good. Um, it's interesting as I started having this word this afternoon, as you get to the end of it, you'll kind of hear it, but I, that there, there's a theme of horses, which I didn't realize for this conference, and I don't know if that's going to come out or if that's just because it's cool artwork, but this is what I heard the Lord say, and if, if you can just sit there and receive it, but if there's part of it that there's something that touches you and you, you feel like you want to stand and receive something, I believe there's an impartation in this, but here's what I heard God say. I hear the Lord say, I'm not just doing something new in you, I'm bringing to maturity that which I began in the last season. Some of you grew weary in well-doing, but I am renewing your youth like the eagle and redeeming the time for you. Some of you feel like you've been walking in slow motion and getting nowhere as if you were walking alone, but I tell you, I have walked with you through this past year, and I'm walking with you into your future. You are not losing ground. You are taking new territory. You are not standing in place. You have stood your ground. You are not wasting time. I am restoring the years that have been lost. For just as my people walk 13 times around a wall without a sound and without seeming progress, 2013 has been a year of walking with me even when you thought you were alone, worshiping me even though you did not feel me, taking new territory even when you felt you were standing still. But the discipline of walking in the last season is turning into a run in this season. The shuffled steps of the past are turning into the sprint of today. You have raced with men on foot and they have worn you out, but I say to you, you will run with the horses. Some of you have seen yourself as a pretty little pony, but I'm showing you, you are a thoroughbred and you will run like a thoroughbred. Some of you have seen yourself as a wild stallion trying to tame yourself, but I see you as a thoroughbred matured and ready to run. Some of you have seen yourself only as a work mule for the kingdom, but I see you as a thoroughbred that can carry the weight of the kingdom. Some of you feel as if you've been put out to pasture, but I have prepared you to run. So I am releasing the thoroughbreds the young thoroughbreds, the new thoroughbreds, the old thoroughbreds, and I am preparing you to run through the nations. For as horses run in the high places, I am raising up a generation of thoroughbreds that will run to the nations, says the Spirit of God. Amen?